Today I'm going to show you how I recondition and refurbish a used beehive to make it usable again for the upcoming season. So if you remember, I bought a big batch of 50 wooden used Langstroth nuke boxes from eBay. Great bargain, I'll link the video in the description. But in order to get them to a point where they're usable again for the season, there's a few things that I need to do in terms of refurbishment of the boxes and the frames, but more importantly, the sterilization to make sure that everything is compliant going into my apiaries. I don't want any risk of EFB or AFB. So in this video, I'm just gonna give you a full rundown of exactly what I do, and you can apply this to any used wooden beekeeping equipment to get it up to a point where it's suitable to be used again in the season. So this is the box that we're talking about here today. As you can see, completely wooden, got a metal roof. We'll open it up now and I'll show you what's inside. So when you take the metal roof off, we've got a wooden crown board on the top, and then we've got a wooden board with a galvanized mesh. We're gonna burn all of that up, make sure that there's no diseases lurking in any of those nooks and crannies. And as you can see here, the frames have already been dipped. So they've been dipped in some sort of caustic solution. You can tell that because there's not a trace of wax anywhere on them. If you look inside the grooves there, absolutely no wax whatsoever. So I'm really confident that these have already been dipped. What I'm gonna do, however, though, is I'm gonna use a scorching flame treatment on them just to give it the once over to make sure that there's no disease risk. And then finally, we've got the wooden floor at the bottom and then we've got the wooden brood box as well. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take that outside, we're gonna get the blowtorch on it and we're gonna blowtorch every single wooden face get into all of those nooks and crannies. We'll do it on the frames as well. Inside, outside, we're gonna go completely overboard on these and make sure that there's no possible disease risk left by scorching it with a blowtorch. So this is the blowtorch that I use. Really good idea to get yourself a good quality blowtorch. Makes doing that so much easier than using the little chef's torches. If your frames haven't already been hot dipped, you need to do a hot dip in either a soda solution or a caustic solution. Do read up about using caustic solutions though. Quite a dangerous thing to do. I probably wouldn't recommend it to people. Go with a hot soda solution. The heat's gonna kill everything, sterilize it. The soda's gonna break down the wax and the propolis and the gunk. And then you wanna scrape everything clean. And I do recommend giving them a good scorch at the end as well, if the frames can take it. If they can't take a scorch, then it's probably best just to burn them, go in new frames. You will see though, these frames here, if you listen, they're not very tight. So what we need to do now is we need to tighten up these frames as best as we possibly can. Got a really simple tool for tightening frames. So this is my tool here, good quality tool this one. Get the premium version, the wooden one. Plastic ones are okay, but they're a little bit more difficult to work. All you wanna do with this is run it over the loose wires and it tightens them up nicely. So this is the before sound. And you can hear it makes a big difference to the sound. Higher pitch means it's tighter. Don't need to over tighten them. You just need to get them into alignment and then we're gonna embed some wax foundation. So that's all of my frames now. Very, very nice song indeed. Now I'm gonna connect up the battery and I'm gonna embed some wax foundation onto these frames. So take a piece of wax foundation, make sure the wax has gone up into the groove that way there. Then all we're doing is connecting the positive and the negative. I think I got that the right way around. And as you can see, a few little sparks coming off there. And then we're just gonna tap the eyelets on either side and you'll see that the foundation embeds onto that wire. So there you go, you can see that the foundation is now completely embedded. Be really careful not to burn through the foundation. You just wanna run a really small amount of current through it, tap the end, you'll see the spark, but less is more. You just wanna make sure that it's on there and it's not gonna flip off in any way. Once you've finished that on all of the rest of the frames, we are complete, it's as simple as that. So to recap, all I've done is I've torched every single wooden face, all of the metal faces as well. I've got my blowtorch in there, I've heated it up, that's gonna sterilize the entire box. I've tightened up all of the wire frames as well, and then I've embedded new wax foundation onto all of those frames, and now they're pretty much ready to go. Final thing I'm adding in is a little frame feeder. Gonna add that into each one, and I'm gonna run them as a four frame Langstroth nuke with a frame feeder inside. Might double them up throughout the season as well, but you'll see plenty of these nukes all the way through the year. If you wanna see my video where I give you a detailed breakdown of what was included in that eBay lot, check out this video here, my best bargain on eBay.